Are you tired of downloading all these launchers for different games like Steam, Epic Games, Origin, all of these other launchers that are just taking up your space and are being annoying? Well, there's one launcher that actually connects all of them together. It's called Play Night, and I'm going to show you how to install it and set it up. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. The first things first, what you'll have to do is go to the link down in the description below. You can find the link for this tool right here. What is also very cool about this tool is it is fully open source. It is completely free and it allows emulation as well. So if you're playing emulated games, you can have even those all in one place. It connects all of the launchers, including the Game Pass one as well. And it's very sick. Just to clarify, this is not a sponsored video. I'm just showing you this tool in this program that I think is very cool and that will help a lot of people. So what you'll have to do is click on the download button right over here. It will download the installer and now we're going to install the program itself. All right. So once we open up the installer, you will see the options right over here. You can choose where you want to install it. That's totally fine. If you want to uh, install it in portable mode, you can also do that. Then all the configuration files and game databases will be stored in this folder. So you can move it to the other PC or whatever else. You can check that if you want. We click on install and we just simply wait until it's downloaded and installed. It will take a few seconds. And once that's done, you will import all of your games to the launcher. And here we go. It will give us the first time configuration where you will have to go through this like tutorial. As it says right here, Play Night can automatically import games from multiple game services such as Steam or GOG. Keep in mind, you can also manually add any custom or emulated game for any platform later on. That's totally fine. Click on next. So now you can choose which uh, library you want to import. I'm going to choose Battle.net, Epic Games, uh, Steam, uh, and let's do Xbox Game Pass as well. So we click on next. And now it was is going to download all of these like plugins, all these in, uh, integrations. So it can actually import those games. Uh, you click on import installed games and you can also connect the account obviously uh, for you to track the hours on Steam or Epic Games or whatever else you're using. That way you also, you know, get the actual tracked hours and everything else. We won't really connect the accounts right now, but if you do, you just click on authenticate and then you actually make an account. We just want to import the installed games. Same thing for Epic Games. Same thing for Steam. Uh, for Steam, you actually have like a few more options. You can add API keys or whatever. There's also additional accounts. Uh, we won't really go through that right now, but if you can, if you want, you can. And then same for Xbox as well. We click on next. Configuration is finished. And now if we open up the launcher, it's going to scan the size of games and library. It will take a few seconds. And once that's done on the left side, you will see all of your installed games right now. So what's also really cool about this launcher is that you can run it in big picture mode. So if you're on a TV and you're using a controller, you can basically use it as Steam big picture and go over all of those games that you have installed. If you just wait it out, it will also download the metadata, which are the small pictures and all of the other assets for the different games. And then you will also have them on the side right here. You can go into the grid view, see the games like this and basically all of the other customizations right here. If you click on the controller icon on the left, you will see add-ons and settings. We will go into the settings right over here. And here's where you can change certain settings to make it feel less and more customizable to you as well. So you can change the system tray icon. You can also make it so the game, when the game starts, it will minimize this program right here. Also, when the game closes, you can make it exit play net if you really want. But keep in mind that you will still have to have those launchers installed on your computer. As soon as Playnet actually opens the game through that launcher, it will minimize it and close it for you. So you don't have to actually have Steam or Epic Games or whatever else opened in the background. So you can make it so it launches with your computer. And also, if you go into the general, you can change the themes. There are a bunch of themes where you can actually click get more teams. And it will open up a website. You can check all of these themes. You can customize it the way you want. There's like so much customization through this program. It is actually insane. So the thing that I was talking about regarding the auto close is if you go to the auto close clients on the left side, you can toggle this option called automatically close third party client after the game exits. So once you close the game, for example, you're playing a deadlock on Steam. Once you close Deadlock, it will turn off Steam so you don't have it running in the background using PC resources. So simply enable this and you can make it shut down delay in 60 seconds. So it like syncs all the data with Steam and everything. And after one minute, it will close the program itself and you don't have to worry about anything. 
You can also make the same thing for all of the other launchers that you have imported. What's also really cool about PlayNet is that it has backups. So you can make automatic data back backups. So it automatically backs up everything once a week or once a day. And you can set up the custom folder for all of your saves and other important things that you want backed up. Also, if you want to add emulator games or any other launcher, you will have to go to the gamepad on top left one more time and then go into the uh, add-ons right over here. Click on that. And then on the bottom, you will see browse a library. So if you click on that, you will be able to add all of these other apps like EA app, Epic Store, whatever else I didn't add, you can add it over here. And then you also have emulated launchers like Emu Library or any other uh, emulator launcher that you are personally using. Most of them are right here. So you can just simply add them, click on install and then run the games through that. It is very, very sick. And that's basically it. It's a cool free program that merges all of the launchers together and creates one epic launcher. If you're struggling with, you know, finding all of the different launchers, this program is perfect for you. If you guys did like this video, make sure to drop a like. It would mean the world. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see my other guides, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.